thermal pulp testing. Cold testing by ethyl chloride. It differentiates between reversible and irreversible pulpitis and identifying necrotic teeth. We take a small cotton pellet and we impregnate it with ethyl chloride and place it on the labial side of the tooth. When the patient feels severe pain, that means that pulp is not uh, normal, it is inflamed. Hot testing by gutta percha cones. We use gutta percha cones and we heat it and we place it on the labial side of the accused tooth. It helps locate symptomatic tooth with necrotic pulp. Palpation. Evalu it evaluates the spread of inflammation to the surrounding bone. We place two fingers and we palpate the extent of the spread of inflammation. Percussion. It reveals if there is any periapical pathology. And this is done by tapping the tooth by our finger or any instrument. If we get a positive response, that means we've got a periapical pathology. Radiographs. The diagnostic X-ray it reveals pathology in the periapical area or status of the tooth and supporting tissues or shape and geometry of the tooth. Periodontal probing. This is very important to identify the status of the periodontal tissue and we uh, identify endoperior lesion, vertical root fracture, and periodontal disease that needs to be treated alongside with the endodontic treatment. As we can see here, that there is a vertical fracture that caused a severe bone loss and periodontitis. And here we've got periodontal uh, abscess that when probing pus oozed out through the gingival crevice. Transillumination A fiber optic light shows cracks in the teeth. We place the fiber optic uh, uh, light on the other side and see the crack and we're propagating towards the apical region. Pain is caused due to stretching of the pulp, pulpal tissue when lateral pressure is exerted on the tooth. Electric pulp tester. This is a device that provides electrical current. We place it on the labial side of the tooth to transmit electrical current and see the response of the tooth. It provides information about the response of the nerve uh, fibers in the pulp. Many factors affect this level of response. For, for example, enamel thickness. The thicker the enamel, the more insulation. Area of probe placement. It has to be in the middle third of the labial surface. Dentin calcification. 
restorations and patient's level of anxiety. We have to place the probe in the labial side of the tooth. Never place it on the occlusal side because this area has a lot of enamel and acts as an insulator. By test, we use a wooden stick and we place it on the occlusal surface of teeth and ask the patient to bite on it. This stick will make a lot of lateral pressure exerted and if pain is caused, then there is a possibility of crack in the tooth. Sinus tract exploration. When we have a fistula on top of a tooth, we place a gutta percha cone and see where this cone will drift us away from the tooth. This will show the real uh, source of the inflammation and as we can see here in the radiograph that the gutta percha cone shows us that the adjacent tooth is the cause not the this uh, maxillary second premolar it is the maxillary first premolar selective anesthesia whenever we have referred pain to distinguish whether the source of pain is mandibular or maxillary in origin, we give anesthesia to the area uh, of accused pain. And if it resolves, that means the cause is in this region. If it doesn't, that means we've got referred pain. Cavity testing, it's a last resort. An access cavity is cut into dentine without local anesthesia as an additional way of sensitivity testing. Clinical findings are reversible pulpitis. As reversible pul pulpitis, the inflammation is still inside the pulp. That means we can't use the visual palpation percussion, mobility, and periodontal probing tests. We use the thermal and the electric pulp tester. Transillumination, selective anesthesia, test cavity, radiographs are not needed because this is a reversible pulpitis. In irreversible pulpitis, Visual, palpation, percussion, mobility, and periodontal probing, they are not needed because still we are inside the pulp. Thermal and electric pulp tester is beneficial. Transillumination, selective anesthesia, and test cavity, they are not needed but may be used and radiographs are not beneficial. Clinical findings in necrotic pulp here, the visual, palpation, percussion, mobility, and periodontal probing are beneficial because here there's a possibility of the inflammation to reach the uh, periapical region. Thermal and electric pulp tester does not work. Transillumination, selective anesthesia, test cavity, and radiographs are beneficial. This video is pre uh, present in the channel of Professor Hussein Al-Huwaisi.